Hey, well, hey there. How are you? I am great. What's your name? My name is Judy Levin. Judy, how are you doing on your glide cycle? Fantastic. This is your second ride. You rode once a while ago and now again today having a wonderful training session. Um, what's it feel like to you? It feels like basically floating along um, and still getting aerobic workout. I used to have problems with my knees. I've had several knee surgeries. I started getting aches and pains. I had to give up running about oh, probably 10 years ago. So all I've been doing is sort of hill hiking and really miss the getting out there, moving fast through space and uh, the, just the pleasure of running and getting a quick workout that's really high level. And I found that this is it. That's fantastic. Yeah, running is a really efficient way to get out, get some exercise, burn some calories, have some fun and see and meet a whole lot of people, cover terrain. And uh, once we lose that ability, it really hurts. Yeah, especially, you know, people in their 60s and 70s many times find they just sort of burn out. They're not sure yeah. what's wrong, they just can't run anymore. Was now there, I'm finding I can run again. Was there anything that could replace your running during the time that you lost it? Uh, the only thing I found was to just uh, hike straight up hills, but then I had to go down hills, and that was bad on my knees. Huh. So I have never found anything that I thought was, you know, really the, the perfect workout that, to replace running. And now you think you may have. Yes, I think I have. That is absolutely <laughs> fantastic. And you're not experiencing any pain or joint impact? or No, not at all. I thought maybe I'd feel, you know, pressure here, pressure there, uncomfortable bike seat, uh, that my knees might, you know, still feel a strange movement movement or I'd get some kind of pain, odd pains because I'm using, frankly, new muscles that I haven't used and I still, right. I've been out here an hour and I have not felt any discomfort anywhere. Uh, wow, I'm totally that surprised. Is, that's fantastic. <laughs> How about the learning curve? Is it, a little, is it a little hard to learn? You know, I thought it was going to be. The first time I tried it, I was real shaky on turns and I thought, eh. But today, it just sort of, uh, it came. It really did. It did, uh, it, I think after the initial trial where you might feel a little insecure by the time you have second time or third time around you feel like I think I get it still a lot a lot to learn but oh yeah I don't think I'm gonna you know you hurt think, anybody or myself what do you think <laughs> the difference was between the first time where you felt shaky and this time um I really am not sure I think I just realized that uh this thing is designed perfectly if you don't try to overpower it yourself with hand gripping the handlebars or trying to turn things too much and yeah. just sort of let yourself flow. And, and when you realize that the machine is there to assist you running and you're not trying to make the machine run, you know, and you're not trying to overpower it or overwork yeah. it, um, and it sort of clicked in my head and I just found that it was really easy. Gosh, that's fantastic. Well, it's good to talk with you about this. And Judy, how old are you now? Well, I'm 60, going on 67 in January, 60, so I'm 66. 66 okay. years old and looking beautiful and healthy, and it's going to be great to have another new tool in your life to continue running and getting healthy. Thank you. Axel, let's see you it. run away. <laughs> another new glider pilot. <laughs> 